Recently, OpenAI has been showcasing Sora, their text-to-video tool. Sora isn't widely available yet, but OpenAI allowed a few creators to get their hands on it and take it for a spin. Each creator used Sora and their own imagination to create one-of-a-kind results. This video shows examples. Links of the full videos are in the description. The shining star of the creators was Shy Kids and their video Airhand. They took an original idea and showed the power of Sora to create something captivating. Shy Kids were quoted saying, as great as Sora is at generating things that appear real, what excites us is the ability to make things that are totally surreal. OpenAI has moved slowly with Sora, ensuring the appropriate guardrails are on the tool and testing it thoroughly before launching it. It is also reported that OpenAI has started to have conversations about Sora with studio executives in Hollywood. They are treading carefully knowing their tool could have major implications to the entertainment industry. Studio executives see the value of tools such as Sora to help reduce costly production, especially as it relates to special effects. Many in the entertainment industry are concerned about the impacts of text-to-video tools. Job loss remains one of the biggest concerns, but also copyright issues, misuse, and deepfakes. A lot of concerns are the same as the ones for AI-generated images. Now, does that outweigh the benefits? Creators without the necessary skills could develop something they never could have before. This would democratize the ability to become a creator, and all you would need is an idea. A simple example would be the inception of the internet. Previously, it was much more difficult for people to get their written ideas into the hands of the public. This created a lot of change in the publishing industry. However, there was space for everyone. It is also clear that cost savings and rapid prototyping are enticing for companies and creators. It's likely that text-to-video tools will become more widely available in the not-so-distant future. So where do you stand on them? Are they a blessing or a curse?